that's based on a song you'll all recognize, but it will demonstrate how different choreographers interpret the same music. The first one is Bobby Fosse. I first worked with Fosse in 1954 on Broadway in a show called Pajama Game. And in it, he choreographed this great dance number that became a classic called Steam Heat. We're not going to do that tonight, but we're going to do something a little bit like it. Now, Fosse loved white gloves and derbies. In fact, they worked so successfully for him in Steam Heat that he's been using these two props on performers ever since. If you remember, he used them on Liza in Cabaret and on Me in Sweet Charity. He choreographed and directed both of those movies. Now, Fosse's style is very meticulous. I mean, he's a stickler for detail. Every finger, every wrist, every hip, every shoulder has to be in unison or he goes crazy. This is Fosse. style of Michael Kidd. Now the difference between Fosse and Kidd is 
kid stuff is based almost entirely on pure physical energy and stamina. He was very influenced by the American West, and he choreographed this great movie that reflected that feeling called Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Then he choreographed a film I was in called Can Can. You had to be an Olympic champion to work for kid. He killed you.
we did. We put all these different choreographic styles together, and the man who's responsible for choreographing this entire show came up with his own Alan Johnson version of Sweet Georgia Brown. Hit it! <laughs> 